Hi, uh, very good morning to Dr. Zarin and all my friends. Today I want to do some explanation about our mini project, which is the mark calculator that we have done as our mini project. Okay, first about this code, I will explain about this code. First, uh, this is the preprocessor directive that we have used, and this is the namespace using namespace std, and this is the function call, and this is the structure with the name of student. In, inside, inside this structure, we got three items, which is name, mark, and grade, which rep represent to student's name, student's mark, and student's grade. Okay. Then here, this is a global declaration of the this is the global declaration of the variable, and then now we will start about our program. Okay, first it will come out a word. Welcome to this calculator and join. Okay, later it will call function to data, and then it will function call to table, function call to extra. Okay, so first we will go to the function call data. Okay, at here we will declare all the variables with respective number. Okay, so here you come up, please enter the name of please enter the name of subject. Then you you enter the name of subject. Then please enter the number of student. You just enter the number of student. You have maximum ninety nine. Okay, next. It will come up a loop. The loop will it will loop. Uh, the, it will loop x time. X equal to the student num. Okay. Loop i time. I equal to student num. Okay. It will ask the name of student, and you can enter his mark. And then here it will some it, it have some formula to calculate something ah, which is total marks. This is a formula of total mark that calculate total mark. And then this at here, it will take the highest mark of the student and also the name of student with the highest mark. Okay, at here, it will calculate the lowest mark. It will take the lowest mark. Uh, in uh, it will take the lowest mark of the student. Okay, at here, it will calculate calculate the average, which has the formula average equal to total mark over student number. Okay. Then here it will come a loop, a small loop to to calculate the standard deviation part one, which is standard deviation one equal to result mark minus average power with two. It will loop i time i equal to student num. Okay. Now I will let others people to talk about others. Okay. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. My name is Muhammad Azad Daniel and then this is the program will go to the next function. The next function is board table. The title size is 50 which means we can enter uh, the alphabet the alphabet until 50 character. In a streamlined subject is to determine the number of character subject. This is to the uh, this is to make the line with the same value of the title result of the subject result of the subject and this it will print from the left it will print number and then it will space for 50 spaces spaces and it will print name and then this from the right side it will space for 35 spaces and it will print mark and then it will space for 15 spaces and it will print grade this is to make the line to make the line under the title that we enter. Like this is line under the number, line under the name, line under the number, and line under the grade. And then after this, after this we use for loop. I equal to zero because the index number equals zero, which means it will display the first element. And then loop must less than the student num. It will looping until the until less than the student now. I plus plus because 
the student because the result will plus one and then after this it will display the grade to function this to make function call to call the next function that is grade to this is the grade to the grade to it will display the mark if the mark is greater or equal for 18 and mark less than or equal 100 it will print a as a grade as if mark equal or greater than 17 and mark is less than 18 it will print b as a grade as if mark equal and greater than 16 and it will end mark less than 17 it will print grade c as if mark greater and greater or equal 15 and mark less than 16 it will print d as if mark equal or greater 14 and and less than 15 it will print e as if mark equal or greater than 0 and less than 14 it will print f okay that's it for today <laughs> my name is Muhammad Isadina okay we go to the next question <laughs> Okay, I will continue to the next function which is void extra and for this you can see that the cout is extra function to and check student with highest mark, check the range of mark, check average mark of subject, check standard division of subject, check result of a student by entering the number and stop mark calculator and for this I will use uh, looping and the statement is please select the number of extra function as we I state just now and if the user uh, press number one the output is the student with the highest mark is and the student with the student's name with the highest mark which is the mark and then uh, if the user press number two he will call the range and the output is the range of the mark in this subject is call out the range and if the user press number three it will show the average mark for the subject is and the average and if the user press number 4 it will use the standard division um, formula like this and then um, the output is the standard division for the subject and the total or the answer for the standard division and the, if the user press number 5 it will show the please enter the number of student and it will keep in the i and if we continue with if i less or equal to student down and it will show the output as the number that the user enter with the student name and mark with the grade and if the user choose uh, press the number besides the five number it will show the invalid number and then if the user press 0, it will show the thanks to use our program and have a nice day. Or else, if the user press the number besides number 5, it will show error. So, my is your Sabrina. So, I can tell you with other members. Okay. My name is Ahmad Shami bin Mak Tormizi. This is the output running program. Welcome to this mark calculator. Enjoy. Okay, you can choose uh, any subject what you want. It's up to you. I choose a uh, computer programming. Okay, secondly, you can choose uh, the number of student. Maximum is 99. I choose a uh, 10 student. First student, I mean 90 marks. Second, Shahmi. Uh, 
Netify Mark Second Lim Ninety eight Sabina Ninety three. Okay, Isaac. the result of the computer programming this is a number of student name of name of student mark of student and grade of the of student the line uh, just the same the the result of programming okay. Continue to next person. Okay, hello, my name is Mohamed Zamaizi. So, our part, my part is extra function. So, <coughs> for extra function, there are six extra functions here. And student with highest mark we put as one, number one. The range of mark we put as number two. The average mark of student we put number three. The standard deviation of student of subject sorry uh, i put it put it as number four result of a student by entering the number to number five and the last one stop my calculator as your key you can try number one first and then they it will display the student with size mark is the limb which is 98 percent marks okay so we try number two you see the ring uh oh sorry the range of the mark is uh, the range of the mark in this subject is 48. Okay, we try for number three, the average mark of student. It will display the average mark of uh, computer programming uh, subject is 78.4. And the extra function for number four, it will display the standard deviation for computer programming is 16.56. Uh, 16 and we can approve uh, by using a calculator okay this is the answer but at the after the decimal point the range is quite different but never mind probably okay um, number five is enter the number of students so we put anything uh, any number as long as in this range 1 to 10 so we put 3 then it will show number 3 limb 98 marks and grade is A and how about if we put other number from the range so we put mm, 14 maybe so it will display error okay the last one is okay before that um how about if we put other than the number provided here so maybe Seven and there it will display error too. So and the last one is top calculator is zero. Okay, finish. Thanks to use our program. Have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, so that's all of our program. And my name is Lemmy Chen. Hope you enjoy this smart calculator. If you want it, just call me at Lemmy Chen. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs>